In the dark abyss of the central North Pacific lay the cold remains of the Soviet ballistic missile submarine K-129. I cannot think of any other achievement that ranks with what was accomplished. A secret journey into the ocean depths. We had been asked to raise and lower several million pounds in three miles of water. A challenge of ingenuity and imagination. I wondered, could we do this? Go down 16,500 feet, pick up such an immense object, bring it to the surface. Without the public or the press or the Russians knowing anything about it. Working at the cutting edge of technology, the CIA crafted a program of unparalleled imagination and engineering. A bunch of guys that were willing to, to think outside the box and put their neck way out and then go do it. This astonishingly bold plan was to secretly retrieve the Soviet submarine from an ocean depth of three miles. I don't think anything else will ever be built like it. A monumental feat of marine engineering. The heavy lift system was handling about 8,000 tons. It was massive, just massive. A mysterious CIA Cold War operation. What we hoped to get was code books, information on nuclear warheads, the two torpedoes, the three ballistic missiles. Codenamed Azorian, it would make history. The Russians couldn't say they didn't know what we were doing. They watched everything we did. A story of man's unprecedented resolve. Everybody at Global Marine was fully prepared to never tell that story. In the early hours of Sunday morning, after four days of complicated system checks, the capture vehicle was finally ready for its epic dive. I think we were all in a life raft together. It was just, let's get it on. Azorian, the remarkable story of the raising of the K-129. When we started those operations, we were nervous, because this is what we were hired to do, to get this thing down there and bring it back up. Everybody's well enough prepared, and I think everybody was eager to get going with the job. A combination of six years covert work. We were all anticipating a successful recovery. The creative imagination of the American engineering elite. The Glomar Explorer must rank as the outstanding ocean engineering activity of the 20th century. And over $350 million of government investment this is the first time that the wreck and final resting place of the K-129 has ever been seen. Now, after more than three decades of secrecy, this incredible story can finally be told by the men who were there that made it happen. Can't wait to get to the bottom. Azorian, the remarkable story of the raising of the K-129.